Look at your life. Some the things you accomplished, you first spoke those things. So if if your if if words have shaped the world, then understand the words you say to yourself will shape your world ultimately. So when I ask the question, what are you telling yourself? Understand that the words you are telling yourself. If you're telling yourself you're not good enough, if you're telling yourself you'll never be financially free, if you're telling yourself you'll always be single, if you're telling yourself you, you don't deserve anything good, then guess what? Your world will be shaped by that perspective, by those words. But if you're telling yourself, hey, man, I'm the head not to tell. If you're telling yourself I'm a lender, not a borrower. Right. If you tell if you telling yourself, hey, look, man, hey, hey, I'm going to be married one day. If you tell yourself, man, hey, I'm going to be financially free. I'm going to be debt free. If you tell yourself, hey, man, I'm going to be a business owner. I'm going to bless so many people. Right. If you're telling yourself those things, then then that perspective, that view, that positivity that you have of yourself will 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 start to shape your world to where different areas of your life will start to look like what you're telling yourself. What up, winners, man? You are now listening and watching another episode of the Taco Thursday with JK Podcast. And I am your host, JK. And you know I'm all about helping young adults win in life and at life. And I do so by tackling different topics each week on the podcast that young adults deal with, right? That young adults experience, things that young adults may face right and so today today is no different i'm tackling another topic and i encourage you to tackle this topic with me i encourage you to deal with this to tackle this topic in your own life man the topic for today is in a question and it is what are you telling yourself what are you telling yourself and what I realized, man, by, you know, just being a young adult parent, um, one thing that, that my wife and I, we, we do and, um, and we're intentional about is we try our best to um, protect our kids, what, what, what they see, um, what they hear, um, uh, you know, what, what may be entering in different, their eye gates or their ear gates, right? And so we try to monitor um what they consume, right? What they take in. But we also try to monitor and make sure that our kids are treating others the way that they desire to be treated. Meaning that, you know, we're we're trying our best to make sure, hey, JK, Jayla, make sure you're you're you speak nicely to people, that you treat people nicely, that that the words that you say to others, that is is that is one um where it speaks life. It encourages other people. Um, and, and, and likewise, we try to monitor what is being said to them. So we try our best to monitor um, our conversations in front of our kids. Right. But then we also um, want to make sure we monitor the, the, the things that they might be watching on their iPad or um, the different things, different movies and TV shows. We try to monitor, you know, what, what's being said to them. But. Also, man, being an educator and, and, and being one, uh, me and my wife, uh, both just being believers in Jesus Christ and, and believing that it's important, important to speak life over, over ourselves, that we also um, are very cognizant of what our kids say to themselves. And what I mean by that is that, you know, we try to monitor, hey, hey, no, nah, don't, hey, we speak positivity. Right. Or 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 hey, we hey, don't say you can't do it. Right. Say you can or you will or you're going to get better. Right. And. I realize how important. Right. It is to watch what we tell ourselves. And I was having a conversation with with a scholar of mine before. Right. Um, that I talked before. And I noticed that he would talk so bad to himself. He would talk like. He would just talk bad to himself, right? Like he'll say, he'll say, man, I can't do it, Mr. Kellum. Ah, uh, man, I ain't going to be able to do it, right? Uh, I'm not good. Or he'll say, man, I'm so dumb. Man, I'm so stupid. Man, that was stupid of me. And anytime he would say that, I was like, no, 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 don't say that, bro. I was like, bro, you got to talk. I said, you talk bad to yourself. I was like, you, you got to start to talk, tell yourself better things. 
that that you can't call you shouldn't call yourself dumb you yeah, you might might not make the best decision or you might mess up on a problem, but your word, the words you say to yourself shouldn't be, man, I'm dumb. Man, I ain't gonna ever going to do it. Man, I, man, I can't do it, right? Because I realized, man, that the world we live in was shaped by words. The world we live in, everything that we see was shaped by words. Right? Like, you, we see the light. God said, let there be light. The light, what created by words, right? Um, think about things that, that we see, the things we get to enjoy, right? Think about Disney World, that, that it started out as an idea. Then Walt Disney spoke, had to speak it into existence and had to come up with these plans or you look at Apple and, 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 and they speak that, oh man, you know what? We're going to create this, the iPhone, that words start to shape. And the more we speak those words, the more, the more action we put towards those words. And then, and eventually those words come to fruition. So if I look at the world and I know that the world is being shaped by wor by words, then I know that the words I say to myself are very important. So as a young adult out there, you might be listening and you might be one that talks negative to yourself. You might be one that repeatedly tells yourself you can't do it. Or you're not smart enough. Or you'll never get out of this financial debt. Or you'll you'll never get married. You'll always be single. You 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 won't you won't ever get what it is you desire. If you're saying those things to yourself, guess what? You're gonna start to believe those things. That that you're gonna start to fall into that 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 thinking that hey, you're never good enough for it. Nothing good happens to you, right? Because at the end of the day, you keep telling yourself you ain't good enough. I ain't going to do it, right? We did it. We wrote a book. Um, it is called It Worked For Us. Yeah, we're definitely excited for you to get your copy of our book, It Worked For Us. Tell them, babe, where can they find this? You can find our book at KellumFamilyMoments.com, and it is also on Amazon. Definitely, man. So, hey, we're excited for you to get this. Uh, man, it's been a long time coming. Uh, and long so, overdue. Long overdue, man. So we're excited. And uh, definitely go grab your copy right now at KellumFamilyMoments.com. Just the other day, man, in, in the softball game, man, one of the, one of the players, before she uh, threw the ball, she said she looked at us. In the dugout, she said, hey, did y'all see my last throw? Right? Because she threw a good one. And then she said, hey, don't look this time because I'm, I'm going to probably mess it up. I'm going to mess this throw up. And the fact that she told herself that caused her mind to take that in. Then it caused her body to follow suit in what she said because what she told herself was she was going to mess up that throw. And guess what? She went and threw the ball and messed up the throw. Why? Because it was what she said to herself. It wasn't, we didn't say she was going to mess up. We didn't say that she was going to make the, make an error or, or, or make a, an erroneous throw. She told herself that. And the question is, what are you telling yourself? What do you keep telling yourself? Are you telling yourself negative things? Are you speaking death over your situation opposed to life? Now, I'm not saying, hey, uh, be naive about your situation. But what I am saying is, and we got to check how we talk to ourselves. We got we to gotta examine how we talk to ourselves. We got to. Because words have shaped this world. Literally, words have shaped this world. If we look at the things that you, some of the things you have accomplished, you first spoke those things and said, man, I'm going to accomplish this. Right. I said I was going to go after the NFL, that I was going to be a pro football player. Did I make it to the NFL? No. Was I a one percenter? Played in a professional football, a play in a professional football league? Yes, I did. I said I'm going to be first team all state in Florida. My, my, right. 
before I graduated. Guess what? I spoke it with my words first, and then I followed suit. Now, if I would have told myself, man, I ain't going to be first team on stage. Man, I ain't going to be first team on stage. It ain't going to happen for you. Then my actions would have followed suit, right? My doubt would have seeped through, came through my actions. But when we speak, and we speak of ourselves, and we speak life to ourselves, and we speak life to our situation, and we encourage ourselves, and we have self-affirmations, and we, and we do those things, and we really monitor, and we're really careful with what we say to ourselves, then our, then our actions will follow suit with what we say to ourselves. Man, just the other day uh, at a basketball game, my son, last basketball game of the season, um, you know, we was getting out of the car and he said to me, he said, Dad, he said, Man, you think I'm gonna score today? I said, I looked at him, I said, Do you believe you're gonna score today? He said, Man, Dad, you know, I didn't score the last game. I said, son, I said, I didn't always score every game. I said, there was times I didn't catch an interception. There was times that I didn't score touchdowns. I said, but I came to the next game believing. That, I, that it will happen for me. I said, so I told him, I said, so you got to come into today's game believing that God's going to give you the ability and bless you to score. And all during the game, first quarter, he tried, you know, he working hard. Second quarter, he working hard. At, we at halftime. We in the third quarter. He's taking the shot. He, he still ain't scoring. And I told him, I said, son, I said, believe. No. Tell you, say, you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you, right? I'm getting him to tell himself, to encourage himself that, hey, you can go out here and score a basket. And I told him, I said, the only time, I, I said, hey, we're going to go to the movies after this game regardless. So, mama and daddy, we love you regardless. Whether you score or you don't score, we love you regardless. But the only chance that you have an opportunity to score is you got to keep shooting. And my dog went out the fourth quarter, last quarter, Went out there, grinded, worked hard. They hit the ball away. He got the ball back, turned around, shot it. Uh, number net. And for me, looking back at that, that's a lesson for him to learn, right? That hey, even if you got doubt in your mind, bro, don't don't address the doubt by 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 you know acknowledging the doubt. Speak to the doubt. Tell the doubt, oh, no, I can do it. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Speak to the doubt. Let them know, hey, I'm going to score today. Hey, I'm going to ball out. I'm going to have a great game. Say those things to yourself, and your actions, right, will follow suit with what you say to yourself, right? But if he would have went in and said, oh, I ain't going to score. I ain't going to score. I ain't going to score. Then his, react, his actions would have followed suit in, into the negative words. So what I'm asking you is, what are you telling yourself? That, that if you look at your life right now, d does your life look like what you're telling yourself? Does your life look like what you keep repeating to yourself? Because if you're speaking life to yourself, if you're speaking faith to yourself, if you're having self-affirmation uh, to yourself, I'm sure you can see it in areas of your life. So we got to understand that words shape the, have shaped the world. Right, what we see in the world has been shaped, first started, right? Been spoke. People spoke things into existence. People said, hey, you know what? I'm going to create a theme park. And that's saying, you no know, blueprint put together, theme park was created. Um, hey, I'm going to own a team. And that's saying, you no, know, somebody, you know, they start grinding, they put the work in and they own a team. You see principles across the world. Hey, man, you know what? I'm going to become a principal one day. Hey, they put the work in. It started with words. So if words, are if words are shaping the world, then I need you to know that words you speak to yourself will shape your world. Like, I'm going to say it again. Like, people have spoke things into existence. In other words, everything we see right now was shaped by words. People said, hey, I'm going to accomplish this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to right, look at your life. Some the things you accomplish, you first spoke those things. So if if you if if words have shaped the world, then understand the words you say to yourself will shape your world ultimately. So when I ask the question, what are you telling yourself? Understand that the words you are telling yourself 
If you're telling yourself you're not good enough, if you're telling yourself you'll never be financially free, if you're telling yourself you'll always be single, if you're telling yourself you, you don't deserve anything good, then guess what? Your world will be shaped by that perspective by those words. But if you're telling yourself, hey, man, I'm the head not to tell. If you're telling yourself, I'm a lender, not a borrower, right? If, you tell, if you're telling yourself, hey, look, man, hey, hey, I'm going to be married one day. If you're telling yourself, man, hey, I'm going to be financially free. I'm going to be debt free. If you're telling yourself, hey, man, I'm going to be a business owner. I'm going to bless so many people, right? If you're telling yourself those things, then, then that perspective, that view, that positivity that you have of yourself Will, will, will start to shape your world to where different areas of your life will start to look like what you're telling yourself, right? So, so we got to understand words shape the world, have shaped the world that we see and live in. And as a result, the words you speak to yourself ultimately will shape your world that you live in and exist in day to day. And then lastly, I need you to understand this, man. And this, this is like one of the biggest things, man. Is that at the end of the day, you got the last word over your life. You got the last word over your life. You. Nobody else. Right? Nobody else. Like, as a believer in Jesus Christ, we know what the word of God says about us. Right? And with the word of God, at the end of the day, guess what? We got to believe it, though. If, 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 Right? Not if, but the word says you're a lender and not a borrower. So regardless of what your situation may look like, right? The word says you're a lender and not a borrower. But the question is, what do you say? Do you believe what the word said about you? Because at the end of the day, it's your word. The word you say to yourself is the one that's going to be loud and the most resounding one. That's why when my when my son asked me, hey, dad, do you believe I'm going to score today? I didn't answer his question. I said, do you believe? Because it didn't matter what I said. It didn't matter if I said, son, you got to go out here and score 20 points. It didn't matter what I said. It matter what my son said to himself. So what I'm telling you is that we can listen to all the motivation uh, speeches and inspirational messages. At the end of the day, what are you telling yourself? Because you got the last word. And because you got the last word, your word matters. Your word matters more than the outside world. Because the outside world can tell you what you're not. The outside world can tell you what you ain't going to ever be. But if you tell yourself you can do it, if you tell yourself that you could go on and do great things, that's, that's what's going to prevail at the end. Right? I remember, and I'm going to end with this, man. I remember when my agent at the time, you know, when I first came out, my agent, and I shared it on um, the Bet On You uh, episode, the, I think the, the last one that I uh, dropped. I want you to go listen to on Spotify, or Apple Podcasts, right? Um, but I talked about how the agent that I had came when I come out, came out for the draft. Uh, my agent didn't believe in me, right? So much so that that even when I end up firing him, let him go, he was like, "Oh, the arena league don't want you." I had to beg them to sign you. Um, you know what I mean? He was just telling me how you know nobody wanted me even in the arena league, right? That's what he, he said to me. But I believe different. I believe that I was good enough to play in the NFL. That's what I believe. Even though I didn't play in the NFL, I believe that I was good enough to play in the NFL. This, but he was telling me that nobody even wanted me in the AFL. But I believe that I was good enough to play in the NFL, and he didn't think anybody in the AFL wanted me. That's what he said to me. But I told myself that I was good enough to play in the NFL. So because... I told myself that because I believe that because I believe that I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Then I was able to go on. And despite the words that my despite the negative words that my agent told me. I was able to go on and have a great, successful career, because at the end of the day, I get the last word over my life. Right. I what am I telling myself? What are you telling yourself? And to all my young adults out there. I need you to check. What are you telling yourself? What are you telling yourself? Are you speaking life over yourself? Or are you are you speaking death over yourself? 
Are you speaking life over your situation or are you speaking negativity over your situation? And I encourage you to speak life to yourself. I, I encourage you to, to have self-affirmation. Set an alarm. Set an alarm to remind you every day and, and, and have a list of self-affirmations to speak over yourself. Alarm goes off. It'll take only about two minutes of your day. Every day, the alarm goes off. Boom. You, you, you declaring over yourself. You speaking life over yourself. And I, I, I believe that if you do that, if you speak better to yourself, you will see better results in your life, man. And so, hey, I appreciate y'all listening, man. Continue to wake up, striving to win on purpose, be intentional about winning, and y'all have a blessed day.